now on to the APU. I showed you guys that this thing uh, was leaking radiator fluid. And now it's not even dripping anywhere. The bottom of this radiator here is a little bit wet. There's a little bit of moisture in that tray. But it was like straight dripping red radiator fluid. Coolant, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, but now I can't from, find from where. Well, I bought a uh, oil filter and service kit for this thing, so I, I might as well change it. Let's see how dirty this air filter is. See if they kept up on this thing. Doesn't look terrible. It is the next day, um, late in the day. I don't know what time it is, but I've been screwing around with this APU all morning. I get the oil filter changed. I get the fuel filter changed. I get the air filter changed. The fuel filter they sent me is just a tad too long. So I went up to the auto parts store. The auto parts store cross-referenced it to that piece of shit K&N right there. We stick the K&N filter on, we crank it up, and it dumps oil out from around the K&N. Can't find an oil filter for it. This design of this APU is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Who wants to stick an oil filter down and then sideways into that? Why? You can't pre-fill the oil filter, else the oil goes everywhere. When you go to pull the oil filter off... To change the oil filter, oil goes everywhere. And it's not like they have a nice little drain system. No, it just dumps out on this frame and then just drips down off of everything for 45 minutes. Anyways, I get everything changed and then the stupid thing wouldn't start. I'm like, great, well, I lost Prime. So I'm like, run and run, I'm trying and trying and trying. And now it seems like we have a bad fuel pump. On our brand new to us APU, as soon as I fucking get something, it's got to fucking tear up. So, I've pulled the fuel pump out. I've got it over here on the fucking Mac batteries. Come hold this for me, baby. Yeah. Yep, just like that. And that's all it does. And now we can't get one till Monday. I'm fucking pissed off. I don't know if I showed this before. But uh, these T680s come with these little <coughs> crappy refrigerators. They're not very deep, and they're not very big. But you got this deep hole in here. All I did was took the uh, trim off from around here, and then you get access to six screw holes. Well, this is the freezer that we've carried along with us ever since we've done Hot Shot. So we decided to put this in, in here. If I can get this thing open. Just pull this out. Oh, you think it's dirty inside? Oh, yeah. All right. It hasn't been. 
I'm going to wait to open that then. That needs a good wipe down too, for sure. Hasn't been wiped down since we've been broke down. Haven't been in that truck. What would be cool is if we could put a table under this with some rolling wheels. Way it'll just roll out. Of course, it's not that heavy. It's not that big of a deal. It's only heavy when you're shooting it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, I haven't even done a, a like a show and tell of this truck yet. Because we've just been so god dang busy. Kind of a mess. Yeah. Got the TV in here. You need to do it. Swapped our mattresses over. Before and after. Before and after. Because it's exploded right now. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. It's exploded right now. We've been working on this stupid AP all day long. APU all day long. I'm the so Starlink. fed up. Yeah, but at least the Starlink's going how it's supposed to go. That, that APU that is just a, a nightmare. I wonder if we can stick our regular fridge down in this bottom drawer. How big is our little fridge? It's bigger than that. Is it? Yeah, that's a bummer. Unless we stuck it up here. I don't know if it would fit in there. Well, let's take some measurements. This is the refrigerator that comes in them. And you can see it's just a little bitty ice box refrigerator. Like, we could have made that thing so much bigger and so much better than what it is. All right, good morning. Sunday, the day I wanted to leave to go back and get our trailer. But this uh, APU is just, um, I can't believe the fuel pump went out. I, I think it's the fuel pump. You know, I hook it up to 12 volt like I showed you guys and I don't know what's going on. Um, we've got the, uh, me and Nate installed these uh, flow below things they gave me with the truck. I'm supposed to have another piece that bolts on back here. Uh, they couldn't find it when I was there. They got my address. They're gonna, they're gonna send it to me. I don't know how much it helps. Also came with. Uh, we've also got the wheel cover things that we can put on here if we want. I don't know. Cleaned the rims up real good yesterday with some, uh, with some acid. They were, they were pretty black. Um, I don't think I'm going to polish these things. It's just too much work to keep them polished. It's too much work to polish them. This isn't a show truck. This is, this is a work truck. I do want it to look clean and presentable. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys. I got the Starlink up too. Starlink's up. Headache rack's on. Flow below's on. Still haven't decided if we're gonna use the wheel covers. I might, man. It, I mean, if I can, if I can help my fuel mileage, I'm gonna help it. I gotta wait on a fuel pump for there. I figured while we wait on that fuel pump, I went ahead and ordered a uh, pure sign wave inverter for the truck. Um, me and Lita got one side of the sticker on. Kind of a pain in the butt with these rivets. Like I had to, uh, I still have to get out here with a hair dryer and see if I can get a couple more of these bubbles out. Like, it's, it's not, I'm not a sticker installer. All I did was measure down from this top ledge down to the top of these letters to make sure that it was, to make sure that it was level. Cause I've definitely, I eyeballed it thinking that's how it needed to be I think I uh, might have measured the top there and it was different than if I measured the lettering I don't know that's what it is it's wild that you think this truck is so white when you look at this compared to like the Mac but then you compare it to the white sticker part and this truck's kind of like a yellowish white man it's weird. I thought this, I'm like, man, you can't get any wider than this truck. Clearly you can. So this thing's tore apart still. Got a fuel pump coming for it tomorrow. I've got an oil filter coming for this today. I had the fuel filter come in for this uh, yesterday. I don't know why they came in 
two different shipments. So we still have to change the oil in the KW. I am currently um, in the process of pulling the injectors out on the Mac because they're gonna refund me my money for these injectors. Um, and I'm afraid if I don't do it now, I'll just not have time to do it. So we had a branch that was sticking over and basically touching my hood. And I didn't want a bunch of leaves and stuff to fall in, so I chopped that down real fast. I'll have the kids probably trim. You can see a lot of these trees are starting to grow and droop down. You can see it's kind of blocking the RV. This is almost touching the roof, I think. Have to get up on the roof with the pole saw and cut those back. Like I said, I want to take these two trees out. That way we can park. My future plan is to put another RV carport right here and we can park the RV right here and then that'll be my shop back there. Oh, it is touching the roof. Yeah. Anyways, I've got to pull these injectors out, get these injectors sent back, get us some money in our pocket again. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep this harness. I mean, I do want to get this truck going again, but boy, I could sure use that money right now. All right, well, let's, uh, let's pull these injectors out at least and get these things sent back. If you guys know of a better place to get injectors, please let me know. Don't say the Mac dealership because they're a scam. All right. All right. Let's see if I can do this. She said this is number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. Number four was the one that I ohmed out. I don't know if this is going to, if you guys can see this. All right. Yeah, so this is the number four that was ohming each one of these pins ohm out to each other. This is number three. I'll just double check that it's not supposed to do that. Number three. Oops. Yeah. All right, so we were having codes on four, five, six. So let's see if four, five, and six are bad. Oh, it was just number four. Killing the, the other three. It was just this one shortened out. Killing the rest of them. This one was shortened these three out. Oh, that's such a bummer, dude. Lee and I worked so hard. We worked so hard on getting those injectors to go in for one injector to completely wipe this thing out but you can see look they they did such i did such a good job sealing these things up that we didn't have any blow by on these things at least not yet uh well we're gonna box these things up and send it back to them get our money back uh twenty five hundred dollars i think but that that doesn't that doesn't cover any time and all the times that we broke down in this truck with these injectors. Tamer X. Well, I decided to put these things on. Pretty simple to put on too, actually. Um, and they come with this key so nobody can steal these things from you. But basically... Just go like this. It comes with these brackets here and extra nuts. You just set it on top, tighten these things down. And then in order to get this on and off, you just stick that on there, twist it, just like that. And then in order to keep people from stealing this stuff, you just lock it. Now that button will push. 
I don't know. We're in this to make money, not to look pretty. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I think this thing actually makes the truck look a little cooler, huh? What? The flow below in the middle. I mean, you have a blowout, that thing's gone. All right, it's Monday. It is oil changing time. Had to build these little uh, wooden rhino ramp deals because this truck's so low. My uh, oil catcher won't, won't fit under there. I always wanted to uh, make these for the Mac and just uh, just never did. There was a little bump of the cross member that this would never fit under and I'd always have to drive up onto a piece of wood and it was just kind of crazy, honestly. So we've got uh, we've got to change the oil in this. We've pretty much got the uh, the truck switched over and figured out. We've got to put our new inverter on in when it comes in today. We've got the fuel pump coming in today, and uh, we're either going to be leaving tonight or we are going to be leaving in the morning. So. I guess depends on when uh, when everything gets here and when we get finished up. All right. Postman just left. Brought the new uh, fuel pump. We're about to see if this thing's gonna fire off and work. God, I hope so. Oh, please. I just bought this truck. Oh, I hear it. I hear it pumping. I didn't hear that before. That's definitely a new sound. The real trick is when the compressor kicks on. I should put some like fine chicken wire over that hole to keep some, some hooks from going in there. Running buttery smooth, huh? My goodness. I'm telling you, I'm the only person that could buy something. There it is, that compressor's kicking in now. She's still running smooth. Oh man. Oh. All right, we got to put these covers back on. Another thing I bought, LED headlights. The, uh, it seems like they replaced the headlights in this thing and they are absolute trash. They're like a yellowish tint. There it goes, that belt. I was looking over the maintenance records for this truck and that was one of the complaints that the belt squeaks and they could never get it to stop squeaking. They replaced, uh, they replaced the belts, they tighten the belts, and they replace the pulley, they replace the water pump. But it just stops, it stops squealing after a little bit. So let me turn these headlights on, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Oh, I don't know if I showed you, I got the hands on here. Let's turn these lights on. Oh, I don't know if I can turn the lights on. Lita's got the key, trying to, uh, trying to get a key made for this thing. She said Walmart doesn't cut keys anymore. Oh, that's not the... Let's see. See how it's kind of yellowish? That's exactly how I see it on the road. Now this side over here, when I turn my brights on, is nice and blue and bright, but this side over here isn't. Let's see if I can show you that. Yeah, see how that one's nice and nice and white and this one's like yellow? I don't know if my phone's gonna pick it up or not. But we got all new LEDs for this thing. So I'm gonna swap those things out now before it gets dark. Now we're talking. Yeah. Might be able to see something at night now. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I was uh, super unhappy with the headlights when I got in this thing. 
Oh, that's a relief. APU still running. Oh man, we're getting so close.